We finally got people like Chilingo. Possibly somebody first, but Chilingo has a really cool game that does it really well. Where they change the loot. Which game? Uh, I don't want to get it wrong, and it sounds weird. It's like Electric Tentacle or something. It's a really cute little game. Um, didn't fare very well. Like it didn't make a whole lot of money, I don't think. But it has really good design. Form mm -hmm. monetization. Yeah, it's it's the I guess the, the controls are not as tight and as smooth, so it's kind of hard to get used to it. Yeah. I think that's what killed it. All right. So what they do is they take you to a title screen. Actually, they didn't even take you to the title screen. They just put you right into the game for the very first time. But we can look at it in the same layout, the same model, which is the integrated model. After that, they take you to play. Then they take you to level select. Then they take you to the game. Then they take you to results. And after results, they don't take you back to the title menu. Right? So, oops, you died or whatever. Here's how much gold you get. Here's how much experience you got. If you're a great player, you got an achievement. And then, boom, they throw the store right as your next stepping point. And from the store, they give you the button to go right back into play, or the option of going to the title menu. That might not sound like a big change, but look at the cycle now. I, you play the game, you can go to the level, you hit your gameplay section, after you die, you get your results, and then you're taken not to the title screen, but the store. So every time you play, you go, oh, I gained 100 more gold. What can I afford now? It's right in front of me. Oh, I can buy this, I can buy that. Every time you play. And all that does is it keeps putting it back into the person's face. But if before you were getting 10% visiting the store, you should have something like 80% now. The only people who aren't going back to the store is if they die and they turn the phone off right away. If they hit that result screen and hit OK, they're going to the store. So it helps monetize when you have a good game. So I call one the lonely store method and one the integrated store method. Candy Crush doesn't use either of those. <laughs>